Photoshop Filter Gallery is a great way to do something creative. Similarly, the Illustrator Effect Gallery is also very helpful. But are you also sometime experiencing inconvenience and problems while using them? So let's find out those problems today and solve them. Let's look at the problems with Photoshop first. I opened this image in Photoshop. I downloaded it from Unsplash. If you want to work with the picture, the link is given below. Let's understand what type of photo is it. Go to image, mode and you can see it is an 8-bit per channel, RGB colored image. And in the layer panel you can see it is opened as background. As it is opened as background, you cannot deselect the layer unless you have another layer in the layer panel. So let's go to filter and then filter gallery. And it is working fine. You can add any number of effects over here. So we are certain that an image with an RGB color profile, 8 bit per channel, and opened as a background can be edited into the filter gallery option. Now let's right click on the background layer in the layer panel and make a layer from the background. Name it whatever you prefer, it doesn't really matter and press OK. Now you can see the layer is no more a background layer and if you click outside of the canvas area the layer is deselected. Now if you want to go to the filter gallery it is grayed out because nothing is selected to add the filter effects. So in case of a normal layer, the image or the layer must be selected to apply the filter or anything inside the Photoshop. Now select the layer and go to filter and convert for smart filters. Or you can right click the layer and convert it to smart object, both are same. And now go to filter and filter gallery and it is accessible to apply the filter. So smart object also works in case of filter gallery. Now I will go to the history panel and I'll revert the image as it was open. Now let's change the mode of the image to CMYK color. Go to image, mode, CMYK color and press OK. Now if you go to filter, you can see filter gallery is inaccessible. So we are certain that the CMYK colored image is not going to work for the filter gallery. Let's go to history panel and revert the image as it was opened. Now let's change to another mode. I go to image, mode and I select 16 bit per channel. Now if you go to filter, you can see in this case also filter gallery is inaccessible. So now we know that 16 bit or 32 bit per channel images will not be able to access the filter gallery. Now let's work on a raw image file from DSLR or mirrorless camera. I will open this raw image from my Nikon or Nikon. <laughs> anyway, the DSLR camera and you can see the basic adjustment in camera raw is done. So let's open it. Now I will go to filter, filter gallery and it is accessible. So raw files like .nef files from Nikon or .cr file from Canon cameras opened in Photoshop can also access the filter gallery. So which of the files can access filter gallery? 8 bit per channel image opened as background or normal layer, RGB color profile image opened as background or normal layer. Raw files from DSLR or mirrorless cameras opened in Photoshop and images that are converted into smart object. Now, what cannot access filter gallery? 16-bit or 32-bit channel image and CMYK color images. Now let's see what happens in Illustrator. I have started Illustrator and just opened the image directly into it. You can see in the layer panel that the layer is selected. Now go to effect and then effect gallery 
And what on earth is this? A tiny white square. Why? Let me explain. In case of Illustrator, it is not enough to select the layer to apply any effect. You need to select the artwork or in this case the image. So now I left click on the image and you can see it is selected. Now if I go to effect, effect gallery, it is working. Let's make it fit on the window and apply different effects and it is absolutely fine. The fun part is whether you have a 16-bit per channel image or a CMYK color image, the effect gallery works for both of them inside Illustrator. Let's create a document in the Illustrator and drag the CMYK image here. Go to effect and effect gallery. And you can see it is working just fine. Similarly, I will drag a 16-bit channel PNG file over here. And use the effect gallery. And it is working fine. Hope you will never face any problem using filter gallery or effect gallery in Photoshop and Illustrator respectively. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Till then, keep learning.